Now just pause for a second. Don't write anything. I'm just going to explain the question to you. That's all the information you need, plus a sentence. Here's the sentence, right? Parabola, a point outside the parabola, sitting off elsewhere. You can graph them if you like to prove to yourself it's not on the parabola itself, nor is it inside. My question is, what are the equations of the tangents from here to here? Right? Like if I went in the opposite direction, and I said, okay, there's some point over here. Now you can pick any point you like. For any point outside the parabola, you'll be able to draw one tangent to the closest side and one tangent to the further side. You'll always be able to draw two. Just like from a circle, if you pick any point outside the circle, you'll be able to draw a tangent to this side. That's a bad tangent, sorry. And a tangent to that side. Okay? You'll always be able to draw two. My question to you, simple question is, how would you find the equations of those tangents from there to there? Okay. Now, just pause for a second. We have this incredible tool here. Okay. I'm going to show you how to use it. But I want you to imagine, like not that long ago, that you didn't know what that was and you didn't have access to that as a tool. You can still answer this question. Can you find the equations of the tangents from here to there? But it's not easy. I want you to try it. Okay. All right. I'm going to make a start. At some point, if the light comes on for you, then feel free to ignore me and just like, oh, I get it. Okay, and then go ahead, all right? But otherwise, let's have a shot at this. I said we're trying to find the tangents from here to here. And that's all you know, okay? Now, when you think, oh, tangents, you think, hmm, gradients are involved. Usually, when I want to find the tangent to something, you want to differentiate, right? So I would not blame you if you would write this. Okay? But fairly rapidly, as you start to work things out, you're like, oh, that ends up not giving you anything. Remember, we're talking about you know, trying to put together the pieces of a puzzle. You get this, and then you pick it up, and you're like, wait, this, this doesn't fit in anywhere. Okay? It ends up being not useful to this particular problem because it's all about this point. right? You can only use this if you know where on the parabola you're already going to intersect. But the whole point is you don't know. right? You only know about this point. So this is where the action is really going to be happening. Now, what is this? What is this line? With an unknown gradient, any, any possible line going through that line. Very good. Um, M, right, I should have written on here. M is actually, you know, some number. Of course, we usually write it for gradient. But I don't know what it is. So therefore, what this represents, this equation, is every possible line that goes through there. You recognize this, right? There's my point gradient for, okay? Now, the reason why I want point gradient is because I know that they'll, the two tangents will be two of these lines, and all I need to do is pick the right gradient. Pick the right gradient. As it were, if you like, let's just do this really messily, okay? y equals x squared on 12, so we're looking at this kind of fattish looking parabola, like so, okay? 2, negative 1 is going to be somewhere over here, yes? Okay, now this what I've just written in here is every single line that passes through that point of every gradient. So it's going to look like this. There we go. Okay. Yeah, look, that's every single line, isn't it? Okay. Now, exactly two of those lines and only two, you know, something like maybe, maybe this one, which is going to intersect up here, and maybe maybe this one, which is going to intersect there. Exactly two of them. I just need to find the gradients. And then I'll have locked in which of these infinite green lines I want. Okay? So, to do that, all I know apart from this is the equation of the parabola. And I want them to intersect. So how do you do things when you're trying to solve when things intersect? You make them equal. You solve simultaneously. That is why I made y equal y the subject over here, because then I can just chuck it in right there, right? x squared on 12 plus 1 gives me that, okay? Now, I hope you're satisfied that basically all you need to do is a bit of arithmetic there and rearrangement, and what's going to plop out is this guy. It's a quadratic, no surprises there, right? If you put it in general form, you'll get this. Okay, so that's after a bit of simplifying. I mean, really all I did was I multiplied by 12, then I expanded, and I got everything in ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay? Now, what do I do with this thing? I have this equation, but what am I going to do with it, right? 
or remember, I'm looking for a value of m, well, I'm looking for two, actually, that are going to do something particular for this parabola, right? Now, this line, tell me again, why did I write this line again? What, what's that going to find when I solve it? It's going to find points of intersection, right? Points of intersection between this line and this parabola. But I don't just want any points of intersection. I want this to be tangent to that. So how many points of intersection should I expect? One. One. It's a tangent, right? There will be two tangents that do this. But I want this to only have one solution. How do you get only one solution on a discriminant? Yeah. B squared minus 4 is equal to zero. Fantastic. Once the discriminant is zero, this thing will only have one solution. Okay. So there's my b in there. So minus 12m all squared. There's b squared. Take away 4a c. There's c. You can see, I don't really need to write the brackets in, do I? But I do it to make it obvious that the whole thing is C. Okay? Now again, look, this is a quadratic. I should expect a quadratic. Why should I expect a quadratic? Because there's two tangents. There's two tangents with two gradients, right? So I'm going to solve for M and I'm going to get two values out of this. Now I hope you're content with the fact that this is just, you just have to sort of machine through it and you're going to get two values for M out the end. They're going to be, according to what I've got, Minus 1 over 3 or 1. Okay, so there's my negative sort of 1 and there's my positive 1. Okay, what was the question again? Uh, it was. I want the. Uh, yeah, lines. find the equations of, of those lines which are tangents, right? So I've only got half the way there. I have their gradients. Admittedly, I've gone the hardest part. Okay, what I do with these guys, I'm going to pop them back into. Yeah, this guy up here, remember? These are all of those lines, right? But with particular values. So you're going to pop them in and you'll get some equations at the other end. What I got was this. Okay, right? So I skipped a lot of working there, right? We talked through a lot and at some points I said, you know, from here to here, you're going to have to do some simplifying. From here to here, you're going to have to do some simplifying, okay? So what's written on the board is dramatically shorter than what you've actually done. I mean, this is, this is my working, okay? So you go, so it's like a, a decent page, okay? And also, it's quite thought intense. Did you notice at certain points I had to ask you, well, now what do we do, right? Like you had to pause and think, what do I do with this result? And it wasn't always clear.